so I've never followed too strict of a diet. Uh, in 2014, you know, I was a full-time college student, so you know, it was eating Chinese food off a food truck that was parked behind the library, literally five days a week. And then if I was there late, uh, I've got be I've got pizza off the pizza truck by the library. Um, so my I remember 2014, in a three-month span, I did one competition and I weighed 169 pounds. And then three months later, I did another competition. I weighed 203. So I mean, my weight was just like a roller coaster. Uh, the 2015 season, uh, really did not pay attention to diet. You know, I almost intentionally ate bad because I I thought you know. I work out so much, I can eat whatever I want. I thought I could out train a bad diet. And you know, you, you kind of see yourself every day, so you're not seeing like this drastic gain in weight or like change in body composition. Um, and it wasn't until like I watched footage of myself from the 2015 games that I was like, oh my God, like I was so round, like I was so heavy. Like, and you know, it's just a product of <laughs> being a glutton and you know, just. If I saw something that looked good, it wasn't like I would walk by a bakery and see a Danish and be like, oh, I'll have like a Danish. I'd be like, go in and get like six of them and just eat them all. Um, so, you know, it was after I watched footage from the 2015 season that I was like, oh man, you know, I can't out train a bad diet. So I, I wasn't like counting, counting macros or following a strict diet, but you know, just trying to cut out the junk, eat, you know, natural foods you know just a lot of fruit and vegetables and meat um and you know kind of the rule like if it comes out of a package you know probably shouldn't eat it type thing so trying to cut out all processed foods um my body composition changed quite a bit you know i dropped 10 pounds pretty pretty quickly um so you know instead of floating you know just over 200 and having the problems with any gymnastics movements you know when I was over 200 pounds, my hands are just tearing. You know, just that little bit of extra weight would just cause calluses to rip. So, you know, now I float closer to 190. Um, you know, not trying to have those like giant fluctuations either. Of uh, I used to wake up and like I barely have breakfast and then skip lunch and, uh, and then have just like a huge dinner. Uh, but then I remember some days I would get in the gym and like I'd be doing heavy lifts and like, you know, get lightheaded and be like, oh, I have to go, I have to go eat before I train anymore. Uh, and so then I have to put my training on pause for two hours so I can go eat, let the food settle and then have the energy again to go train. So now it's like, I try to, I make sure I eat throughout the day. You know, I have meals planned. Um, you know, I have a sponsor that sends me pre-made meals. So Paleo Natural sends me food that is like, there's no preparation, you know, it's take it out of the freezer, throw it in the microwave and it's made, you know, it's not going out of my way. It's not a hassle in my day, but uh, yes, yeah, so, you know, just trying to stay even keeled with my energy levels throughout the day, not binging out at 10 o'clock at night, right before bed type thing, you know, simple, simple stuff that I should have been doing from day one. Um, just some leftover chicken from the other night with some spicy orange sauce that Sammy made, white rice. It's delicious. It's just to tide me over until we get to dinner. No, nothing, nothing too crazy. I have breakfast 8.30 every morning. And then, and then I usually don't eat. Like I might have a meal mid-afternoon if I'm training at home but if I'm not home I'll eat again like 4 or 5 p.m. and then like all my calories in the day are between 5 and 10 p.m. all of them <laughs> what makes up most of your diet rice now yeah, between Paleo natural meals and mini wheats. Yeah. <laughs> mini wheats, bite size only. Sammy brought home the Hannaford brand. 
Get out! <laughs> I was so nervous. It was really a lose-lose at that point. Because it was like, okay, get the regular brand, but the big size, and get criticized. Or do the bite size, because what's your reasoning for the bite size, though? You fit more in the mouth. Yes, and the proportion, and like... And the frosting ratio is all jacked up. Yeah, the frosting ratio. So it was like, okay, I'll get the Hannaford brand, but the bite size, because the, at least the frosting ratio should still be up to par. It was not. <laughs> they, they seriously taste like cardboard. You know, every morning it's roughly the same breakfast, you know, bacon, eggs, oatmeal, that kind of generic breakfast. And I eat that like as soon as I get up, you know, uh, like awake, pour coffee as I'm drinking the coffee, breakfast get made. Um, I try to let, let food settle. I don't like to train on empty stomach. So, you know, usually an hour or two after that, I'll get into the gym. On the way to the gym, I always have the same shake, you know, uh, creatine, glutamine, beta alanine and aminos kind of just all thrown in one that's my pre-workout shake usually when I get home after training it's uh, like a blender bottle of just milk spinach and uh, whey protein you know very, very simple and then um, I usually won't take another pre-workout shake before my second day of training or my second training in the day just because uh, I'm fairly sensitive to like stimulants so I cut out all stimulants after like one or two in the afternoon and then and then before right before bed you know brush the teeth and I take the wad pack of you know the fish oil vitamin uh, vitamin D all that stuff just the pack just have them right right near my toothbrush so I remember to take them every night but it's yeah same thing day in day out Nothing, nothing special, nothing sexy. It's just the stuff that I find has the most bang for the buck.